Hi and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn how to use and master Canva. In today's tutorial, I'll show you three free tools in Canva that you don't know yet. Since these tools are free, you can follow this tutorial if you have a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account. And I recommend you stay until the end so you don't miss any of the cool tricks that we can do with these tools. So, are you ready for this tutorial? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so the first tool that I'm going to show you today, it's called the info button. So how this is going to help us and why do I think this is cool? So sometimes I am browsing through all the different templates that you can find on Canva and sometimes it happens that there is an element or a photo that I really like and I have no idea how to find it in Canva. Sometimes you can try to type uh, specific keywords and then you spend like hours trying to find the same specific element, but somehow you cannot find it. So let's go um, and try it out. Let's say that I like this flower element or this quotation um, icon or illustration. So I'm going to click here on this template. This template is free to use so anyone can use it and I'm also going to leave you guys the link uh, of my Canva profile in the description of, the, of this video so you can find and use any of the templates that we see on the screen right now. So let's go here and let's use this template. Now that we are here on the Canva editor, we can select, let's say that I want to find this icon. I want to find more icons like this one. So I'm going to click here and we have this information or info icon, which it didn't exist before. This is kind of new. So here we have the name of this icon and then we have a couple of more keywords that we can use to find similar elements or to find more elements that may look like this one. So we can do more research by clicking on these keywords and try to find similar elements or we can also add this element to our likes folder. You see here, saved to likes. We can go to our folders and here on likes, we will see all the elements that we have saved, elements or templates. We can also like templates and let's see what else we have here. So we can also add to any other folder that we may have. We can do this with elements like this one or also photos like this one. So you can see here photo of woman holding bottle and then we have a bunch of different um, keywords that we can also use. We can add to likes and add to folder. There is something else that I find very cool that I didn't mention before uh, in this feature or tool and it is that we can actually find more photos or icons or elements created by this person, in this case, the person who took this photo or who uploaded this photo to Canva. So uh, I can click here, but before that, let's try to remember some of the keywords that we can find here or the name of these elements so we can find more related photos hopefully. So let's see here. I think I'm going to type uh, woman holding bottle beauty treatment. So let's click here, view more and let's type here on the search box. Let's leave the brand as it is and let's type woman holding bottle and I guess I said beauty treatment and you can see here so we have the same photo that we have on this design and we have some other photos 
that may be similar, you know, like have the same kind of style and same topic. So that might be useful if you are creating designs with the same topic. So that's pretty cool. Okay, the second tool that I want to show you today is the Tidy App tool. So this one, I really like it. This one helps me a lot because I don't have to trust my eyes. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to tell if all the elements are very aligned or organized perfectly. So this is going to help us save a lot of time. So I'm going to add a page here and let's say that I'm creating a design in which I need to have a bunch of different photos all portrait mode photos like this let's try just these photos for uh, this example and I'm going to organize all these photos horizontally very quickly like this and then um, I need all these photos to be aligned perfectly and I can try to do it very quickly Canva tries to help me with these guides you see the pink lines there so I can try to do my best like this and they might seem tidy but if you pay attention in this space here I think this space is a little narrow in comparison to these other uh, spaces between these other photos so if we want to have these photos perfectly aligned what we are going to do is to select all of them and then go to position and click here on tidy app let's click here and if you paid attention some of the photos moved and now we have perfectly aligned and perfectly spaced uh, photos or you can also do it with elements or any other um, illustration that you are working with here in Canva and you can also do this trick if you have uh, elements or photos aligned vertically so let's do this example I'm going to leave a big big space here and here so we can see uh, better how this is going to work you see here we have little spaces like narrow spaces and then here we have big spaces let's do it again position and tidy up boom we have perfectly aligned photos okay and I also wanted to mention something else related to this feature because if you try do this tidy up uh, effect with only two photos this is not going to work so you go to position and you don't have the tidy up option because you can actually just click here on center and your two elements are going to be aligned but if you select three elements or more you go to position and then here you have the tidy up option and here and here what but if you select three or more elements you go here to position and then you will have the tidy up option okay so the third tool is going to help us create videos with friends so this is a collaborative uh, video tool let's say and this is very cool because let's say that you have a bunch of different friends and all your friends are living in different countries and one of them is uh, having his or her birthday uh, next week let's say so you want to uh, create a collaborative video for everyone to say happy birthday you know like send them their wishes so canva created this new tool which help us do this like in a very very simple way so what we are going to do to create these collaborative videos is to search here video message and here we have two different formats the 1920 by 1080 which is the horizontal format and then we have the mobile video message which is the vertical format 
and for this example let's do the mobile video message i'm not going to go in very very detail about this um collaborative videos and how to do it because i already have a tutorial in which i show you everything step by step i'm going to leave you guys the link right here so you can watch that video after this one but um, i'm just going to show you the specific tool that is going to allow us to create these collaborative videos so i'm just going to select one of these templates and let's do the happy birthday uh, collaborative video and here we have our um, uh, design our templates inside this canva doc and then we have this little uh, window popping up which is uh, I don't know, like a little explanation on how this works. So share the love with a personalized video card. Here uh, it says a personalized video card makes the perfect gift, as I was explaining. Uh, I think it's really cool to have these uh, little surprises for your friends or family or loved ones. Recordings and messages for family and friends compiled into a shareable video. So yeah, keep track of who's contributed to the video. So basically everyone is going to send their videos and then you, the owner of this template, is going to see all the videos of your friends right here and then you can just download it as one video, all the videos into one and send it to your friend. You can send it as a video or as a link. I explain everything on the tutorial that I suggested before. So let's see the tool, uh, get started. Here we see send the link to friends and family to our, add their messages. Copy and then you are going to paste this link into your Facebook chat or any email that you are going to send to all of your friends and then your friends are going to click on this link, right? So this is what your friends or loved ones are going to see uh, the people who are going to collaborate in this video. So this is the tool. This is super, super cool. You can record a video or upload a video. So the video, uh, the camera of my computer is on right here. I can start recording. Let's say that I'm hi, recording my birthday wish and then stop recording. Then pick a name. Hi, Let me show you my birthday wish. It looks like this. I can select uh, a specific template. Then I can add my message here, add my name and submit. So let's say Diana and happy birthday. And then submit. And then the person who is the owner of this template, let's say me <laughs> again. So I'm just going to refresh this Canva doc and you will see the person who contributed here at the end of the Canva doc. So you can see here, let's say that I'm Hi, recording my birthday. So you will see all of your friends video compiled into one Canva doc. This is super simple and I don't know, I also think that this is a really cool um, idea like surprise or little gift uh, for your friends or loved ones and yeah you can see here the little message that i wrote really fast and my name so yeah i think this is really really cool okay so let me know which of the three tools that i show you today you liked the most let me know in the comments also let me know what other video trick you would like me to teach you i'll be checking the comments to know your suggestions and in the next tutorial we are going to keep learning about how to create videos in canva so if you are interested in that tutorial subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it out on the other hand if you want to learn more about canva i'm going to leave you guys some tutorials right here that i think are going to help you a lot and also I'm going to leave an affiliate link here so that you can try Canva Pro for free for 45 days. That is 15 days more than in Canva's website. So that's all for now. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.